Hey there, Python enthusiasts. Grab a coffee, get comfortable, and let's dive into some coding fun. Have you ever wanted to create an interactive dashboard to visualize your data without writing tons of complex code? Well, today I've got you covered. In this video, we're building a simple sales dashboard using Streamlit. Fast, fun, and super easy to use. Let's turn boring data into beautiful insights. You can support us and get early access to our daily videos by joining the channel. We'd love to have you as part of our community. First, let's set up a virtual environment to keep everything organized. I open the command line and start by creating a virtual environment named Venv. This virtual environment acts like a separate workspace just for our project, keeping everything neat and isolated from other Python projects on the system. After creating the virtual environment, the next step is to activate it. Activation ensures that whenever we install new libraries, they get added only to this environment, avoiding any conflicts with other projects. Um, you'll notice the environment name appears in the command line, showing that it's active and ready to go. With the virtual environment active, it's time to install the necessary libraries. We begin by installing Streamlit, which will help us create the interactive dashboard. Once that's done, we install matplotlib, a powerful library for data visualization that we'll use to create charts. Having both libraries set up means we're ready to start building. Now that everything is in place, we create a Python file called main.py inside our project folder, and that's where we'll start coding. All right, let's break this down together. First, we're starting by importing some important libraries in Python. We bring in Streamlit, which is an amazing tool that lets us create interactive web apps with just a few lines of Python code, no need to be a web developer. Then we import Pandas, which helps us work with data in tables, making it super easy to organize and manipulate. Next up is Matplotlib, our go-to library for creating visual charts and graphs. And finally, NumPy which handles all the number crunching and random data generation we'll be using in our dashboard. After importing these libraries, we give our dashboard a title using st.title, simple sales dashboard. This means when we run our app, the top of the page will proudly display the title simple sales dashboard, making it clear and professional. Now that we've set up our code, it's time to see the magic happen. To run the app, we'll open the command prompt or terminal on our computer. To launch the app, we'll type a special command to tell Streamlit to run the file. We also add an option to automatically refresh the app every time we save any changes, so we don't have to restart it manually. Once we hit enter, Streamlit will get to work, and in just a few seconds, our web browser will pop open with the dashboard. It's that easy and super satisfying to see your code come to life right in your browser. Now, let's move on to the next part of the code where we generate some sample data and display it in our dashboard. First, we use a NumPy to create random data that will represent our sales and costs for the first six months of the year. The line np.random.seed.seed42 ensures that every time we run the code, we get the same random numbers. This is super helpful if we want consistent results, especially when testing or sharing the app with others. Next, we create a dictionary called data that has three keys, month, sales, and cost. For month, we list out the first six months from January to June. For sales, we use np.random.randint 200, 506 to generate six random numbers between 200 and 500, simulating how much was sold each month. Similarly, for cost, we generate six random numbers between 100 and 300, representing the costs for each month. After creating this data, we convert it into a pandas data frame using pd.dataframe data. Think of a data frame as a neat table-like structure that makes it super easy to work with rows and columns of data. Now comes the fun part, displaying this data on our dashboard. We use st.subheader sales data to add a nice little subheading called sales data on the page. Then st.dataframe.df takes the data frame we just created and displays it as an interactive table. This table lets users scroll, sort, and explore the data right from the web app. Once we save our changes, we check back in the browser. Since we used the auto refresh option earlier, the browser updates instantly, and we can now see our sales data neatly laid out in a table. 
All right, let's keep building our awesome dashboard together. Next, we added a bar chart to visualize the sales and costs. First, we introduced this section with a new title on our dashboard. Then we created the bar chart using matplotlib. We set up the figure and axes to prepare for plotting. For the sales data, we plotted each month on the x-axis with the corresponding sales numbers on the y-axis using a light blue color to keep things clean and visually appealing. After that, we plotted the cost data in a soft salmon color and made the bars slightly transparent so they didn't overpower the sales bars. To make the chart even clearer, we added a legend that labels both sales and cost. Once we saved the file and switched back to the browser, the dashboard automatically updated, and there it was. Our bar chart displaying sales and costs side by side for each month. It's always satisfying to see data come to life visually, but we didn't stop there. To make the dashboard even more interactive, we added a filter option that lets users select a specific month and see its details. We introduced this section with a new subheader and created a drop-down menu listing all the months. When a user picks a month, that selection is stored and the data automatically updates. To get the data for the selected month, we filtered our data set to match the month the user chose. This gave us the exact sales and cost details for that specific month. Finally, we displayed the sales and cost for the selected month by writing the information directly onto the dashboard. The sales and cost numbers appear clearly and boldly, updating instantly whenever a new month is selected from the dropdown. You might not know much about Streamlit yet, and that's perfectly fine. I've got a playlist on my YouTube channel all about Streamlit, where you can learn more and dive deeper into building amazing apps like this. You can find the link to the playlist in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.